what is going on uh, YouTube verse welcome to what is now my third Gearus guide uh, I'm gonna be making a Gearus Mataro guide because I think uh, currently in the state of the game it very well could be his best cameo uh, if not definitely the most fun one so we're just gonna get right into it I pre-recorded a few different instances just to show what this uh, team is capable of the first one is a double res uh, double command grab zero to death reset. And uh, you can pick up off the end of that and kill. It's just the uh, practice mode timer doesn't isn't that long. Second one is just a uh, Rounded freeze into a 16% mid-screen command grab. It's uh, over half their life; it's just gone in an instant. Uh, the third one is just a crazy combo that I made up. Uh, okay, I don't know why that didn't work. Practice mode is cursed. Crazy. Uh, and then number four is also just a crazy combo. Sorry, I don't know why practice mode is just broke. That is a uh, armor break. They cannot wake up in armor, they die. <clears throat> and that is just uh, insanity. They get hit once, they wake up armor, you know, they lose their entire life bar. Alright. <clears throat> so, everything that Mataro does, I'll go over each individual cameo move and how they benefit our boy. Uh, he is working with a low tail shot that is plus 13, a uh, ambush warp that just teleports you, and a projectile reflect that obviously reflects projectiles and then his full cameo bar is a triple shot <clears throat> so first and foremost let's go over the uh, the second best part of this cameo uh, the low tail shot right point blank it is plus 13 and at absolute max range it's about plus 20 plus 22 and then the frame data variables based on the distance that you are from them. But just no point blank, it's plus 13, which is a lot. Um, forward, I'll go over everything with the frame data real quick. Um, the only jails that you really get from it is forward one, because it's an 11 frame button. And that only truly jails in the corner. However, if you do it mid screen, you can do a dash buffer forward by just inputting forward forward as the tail shot hits and you'll dash on frame one and that will beat out any button in the game like Johnny Cage's six frame poke loses to it um, yeah if they just do it normal they will lose and then all of your pokes do jail mid screen um, let's see here <clears throat> stand one stand two and 4 2 all jail in the world of frame data. Um, however, they are highs, so they can poke out. Jailing, by the way, just a brief explanation, that's plus 13. So any button that is faster than that, um, they ha it will just keep them in blocks done. They cannot press anything, they can't even armor out. So those are the only uh, jails that it really has. Forward 1 in the corner. And then anywhere on the screen are his pokes. Uh, however, we're going to go over uh, some other buttons. There's a three frame gap in back one. Uh, that is plus 13. Start up a back one to 16 to three frame gap. Um, if they jump back out of your low shot and you back one instantly, it will catch them. If they jump towards you, it will catch them. If they jump up, it will catch them. If they press any buttons, they lose. There's nothing in the game uh, faster than that. Nothing beats a three-frame gap. 
There is a one frame gap in forward four, a six frame gap in forward three, a one frame gap in the sweep, and a four frame gap in the command grab. Uh, nothing any character is doing is beating any of these options out unless they armor. Any of these options I just went over, they all lose to armor. So you have to be extremely um, aware of the flow chart that you're doing. Because if you're just doing this all day, they can just armor through at any time. Or if you're just doing this all day, they can armor through. So it's very important to just, you know, stagger your buttons into it, etc. Um, also, just like the Kung Lao cameo, your low launcher, which is forward 4-4, four, four, you get the luxury of just doing it all day long into Mataro cameo. And if it hits, you launch them for free. And if it doesn't and they block it, you are still plus 13. You cannot do any wrong doing that string. So I would do it all day long. <clears throat> Second um, main cameo move, which is probably the most important thing that he gives you, is his ambush, which is a warp or a teleports. Just like Kung Lao, you can do the kidnap cancels and keep them frozen, and you get a whole combo for it. Very, very good. Um, the timing for it is a lot more lenient. This time, you just have to tap it instead of holding it like Kung Lao. You have to hold it in order to do a jump in. But no matter what, whenever he grabs you, he puts you on the ground. You are in a standing state every time. Very good. Uh, makes Gears have almost limitless potentials with his combo routes. Um, you get access to some pretty ridiculous combos. Oh, he's too high. Uh, if you do that right with just a little bit lower gravity, that does 56%. Um, it's pretty goofy. Um, the main important thing I'm going to go over, go over, however, uh, is the hourglass charges. Uh, but if you don't want to spend the bar, you know you can convert just meter meterlessly and just do the cancels, and you still get great damage. And get my button. You still get great damage for no bar at all. So that's very important. However, um, he gets several uh, combo routes to charge his hourglass. It's important to do these routes because uh, you're negative. It's 70 frames of recovery, I mean, to charge your hourglasses. So you need all the time you can get to charge your glasses for free. So I'll go over a few. Uh, this one, let's just say for the sake of argument, uh, you get a guaranteed punish. You know, you could just do this. Back one, two in the clock. Forward to cancel, clock. And then one, two, two, one plus three. That is three clocks for no bar spent. Wind condition loaded. Uh, very good. My other favorite route to do is just spend a bar. Still almost 34% for, you know, just charging your win condition for free. Alternatively, if you don't want to spend any bars off of this route, you have that option as well. And then, like I went over my last guides, Let me not be terrible. I'm being terrible. I have not played the game in two days. That's two free charges. You throw them full screen at plus 23. Virtually guarantees you a free hourglass charge anyways. 
and then that is three. You get a snap, your one bar breaker, whatever you want to do. All right. Um, another extremely important highlight of the warp is it gives you Oki. Oki means uh, plus frames on somebody's knockdown. Uh, you get Oki off of a lot of different options. So you get Oki off of your command grab in the middle of the screen. You get Oki off of the command grab out of the corner and you get repositioned so you're not in the corner and you get all your damage and your super plus. Um, you get Oki off of a string that normally throws him full screen. That's the normal, um, you know, animation of the whole string. And you are right back in their face. <clears throat> and then, not that it's necessary, really. You get uh, even more Oki off of this string. All the damage from it and everything. Uh, like probably about plus 70 Oki off of uh, forward three, and then sweep as well. Very very sick. Uh, it makes fighting Gears Mataro if you're using these uh, ambush warps right. It makes him. It makes it uh, almost feel impossible to get him off of you. He is always in your face. He's always plus. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, and then something that's, I think. A little difficult to understand is that the teleport also gives you like pseudo safety in real mind games off of charging hourglass when it, and uh, and doing four three when it comes to characters who can punish uh, hourglass or four three which is everybody for four three or or even sandstorm. So I will show you what I mean. Let's just have Kung Lao throw a hat. So if I go full screen. Better yet, let me just do this. I don't even know the input for it. There we go. So, let's take a look. Hourglass is negative 70. We're going to have him uh, block all. It's a negative 70. He sees me do that, I die. Right? That sucks. He kills me all day long for doing this. If I sandstorm, uh, I don't know, certain ranges, it's a true punish. Yep, reversal punish, you see? So, what I meant by pseudo safety in mind games off of just charging your hourglass is generally it's a pretty mindless game for the opponent. You see me do an hourglass or a sandstorm, you throw something at me because this is 70 frames of recovery. So, if I were to do this, um, that is a punish. Why is this saying counter hit? I don't know. That's a real punish, however. Um, if if their projectile is slow enough anyways on recovery. So it becomes a game of you being able to charge your stuff uh, while playing a mind game. It's pretty messed up. Uh, I know the easiest example I can do is just this. That's a punish every time. That hat is very slow on recovery. Just because he wanted to throw a hat at me, you know he's gonna he's gonna eat 45 percent ish, so that's pretty ridiculous. And then the same mind game applies for the sandstorm. Sandstorm is negative 27. So if, if I were to do it and have him do this, uh, sorry, my brain is little. That is a punish, folks, right? So if I do this, he dies for playing his, hit for playing correctly and trying to punish my, my sandstorm. He dies for that. And another, I'll try to, how do I best do this? And another uh, extremely important one is forward three is negative 25. Any character in the game, is able to just walk up to you and kill you. Uh, 
That's why I wish online practice existed so I could just have somebody do this for me. But this becomes a mind game of just doing it. Um, oh, hold on, my brain is calculating. Basically, if they're slow to react, you know, they will start punching forward, and I will just teleport behind them and whiff punish them. Um, it's hard to get, yeah, like that. You get the point. So you get um, another layer of safety off of forward three. Ridiculous. Super, 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 super good. So it just makes your zoning game a little bit more uh, deadly because you can zone them all day. And if you think they're going to try to do something about it, you can just grab yourself and put yourself right behind them. If they retaliate with something, they die. Same thing goes for the clock. So you can do this all day long. And if you think they're going to do something about it, they die. All right. <clears throat> the triple tail shot is the next thing I want to go over. That's an entire cameo bar use. And it just hits them three times, goes full screen. It's ridiculous. Um, I should be able to do this in practice mode. Like, well, obviously, but like on my first try, I hope. For Gearus, one of the biggest benefits for him is that he gets bigger damage off of mid-screen command grabs. That's 16% for a throw. Normally that does 12. The reason that works is as soon as the clothesline hits, he hits the ball. Extra damage off of just a grounded freeze. Also, it makes strings. Oh, let me go over something first. Um, everything that Tick throws for Gearus is forward one. Forward one, two, uh, down one, down three, down four, and at a certain distance, Splash also ticks those. Not a lot of people know that. Um, that's everything. So back one does not, back one, two does not, forward two does not, one does not, um, forward two, four does not, stand four does not, stand three does not. Okay? So with these Mataro bolt, the I believe tick throws work uh, based off of like block stun or something along those lines. Don't quote me, but that's what I'm pretty sure. But the triple tail shot allows you to do like these setups into the tail shot, and they hit at such a timing that the ball will reset the hit stun, and it'll allow you to tick throw off of strings that are untick throwable. So for example. Uh, I'm just going to do the corner one. The easiest one. I have to look more into that one. I have a Twitter clip of it, of it working every time, but I can't be bothered right now. I did it. <laughs> okay, chat. I'm just going to do this. That string normally does not take throw, right? Um, so that's kind of ridiculous. Um, I would just explore that. It's almost limitless of the things you can do. I have this clip that I posted on Twitter the other day where I hit a 30% combo off of grabbing somebody into the mid screen and I converted it off the triple tail. It was disgusting. Um, that has extreme depth to it. Um, I would just explore at your own, own leisure. Um, more obvious things is that the triple tail pretty much will guarantee you getting your hourglasses out. If one hits, the other one always hits. And the third one generally hits as well. Um, that's pretty obvious. Uh, another layer to it is if you think they're going to try to do something about it, you can check them with Sandstorm. And that all combos. And while that's happening, you can charge your hourglass. You get a free snap. That is a full screen combo. I don't know why all that just dropped. That was insane.
Yeah, that's just uh, 27% from a full screen combo. Uh, so yeah, if you just want to get your hourglasses out, you can just pop that shit and do it all day long. If you think they're going to do something about it, you can sandstorm. You can't really sandstorm a lot because the hitbox is shit. And it'll mess up the combo if it does hit. So just let the three bounce them out. Also, if you want to uh, just chip somebody out, this sequence does 9%. And as soon as your first sandstorm hits, it all jails. Alright, you should be able to get uh, three sandstorms out. Yep, that's uh, pretty much 10% of their life just for blocking. It's pretty, pretty unfair. And then uh, second to last, he, we have the projectile reflect. Okay, this is pretty obvious. It reflects their projectiles. You can hold it, and he will walk forward. Same concept, you can charge your stuff up. They can't zone you because their projectile will get sent right back to them. Um, little known fact, if you have Snap, and they eat their own projectile, that is a combo. Let's just do the unmeter burn one that does not knock down. That is a true combo. So they are just getting launched for them throwing a projectile. Pretty unfair. Alright. Uh, the very last thing is Mataro is, I believe, the only cameo in the game that has this. He gives you the ability to... Uh, he can do your fatal blow hit for you. Uh, where is it at? Yeah, charge. Is a third? It's sorry. It's a 12 frame startup fatal blow. So, oh, let me not do that. Let's get to a range that I can actually hit somebody. All right, this is Gears's normal fatal blow startup. 127 frame startup. Okay, makes comboing a little difficult. Mataro, however, 16 frame startup. Thank God MK1 is a finished product and the frame date is wrong. 16 frame startup. Boom. 16 is a little bit faster than uh, 127. So, for example, things like this does not work for Gears because it takes three decades to hit your fatal blow. But things like this for Mataro is extremely possible. So, whenever you do these big combos, uh, like that for Gearus, sometimes will whiff if you mess up the timing, but I'm a god and I hit it perfect every time. But if you have a combo with a lot of gravity, like for example, like a combo like that, I could end that with Fatal Blow. So let's do that. That was a lot of hits and a lot of gravity. Generally, you know, Gears is hopeless to hit a Fatal Blow at the very end of that because the gravity will drop them so fast. I didn't get my forward two. But right there, what you just seen was my point exactly. The the gravity scaling for Gyrus is hard to deal with because um, it's so slow on startup. But Gear our Mataro's fatal blow coming out in a literal fraction of the time makes it a lot easier. So if you think that your fatal blow might drop, you can always just use Mataro. And it hits uh, it hits like what waist waist height roughly yeah so just keep that in mind whenever you're doing uh, the combos for it but yeah all in all um, I think this team is very good you can play Garrus very oppressive he's very sticky to get off of you he's constantly plus plus 13 and then you know he does hit you and then boom he's right back on you you, you cannot escape this team 
Gyrus and Mataro is an inevitable pain that you will one day experience. And this is, um, this is, that, that shit's absurd. I'll tell you that right now. This should not be allowed. I have been getting away with murder just doing this string all day. Or, I'm sorry, this one button. It's a straight up unfair. Uh, but yeah, that is my Gyrus Mataro guide. Let me know what you think. And I'll see y'all next time. See ya.